yeah uh, so uh, i'll give you the overview why we are uh, using mdm master data management so what's the main uh, problem statement and why we are um, implementing that solution okay what is the main reason pain point for uses of uh, master data management application it could be informatica or relitio or it could be like a lot of uh, mdm tools are available in the market uh, in the present uh, trend um, informatica is leading uh, in all uh, mdm applications okay informatica is the leader right now and presently uh, the latest version which is available in the market is tendered for hotfix 3 and even uh, their plannings are there soon they'll roll out 10.5 version also okay and in the in the present course like we teach 10.2 okay um, uh, let me explain like uh, what is master data management Mm, I you you are aware of that like you have already worked on ETL domain right? the data which you dealt that is mostly either transactional data or uh, some historical data whether it could be like OLTP data or OLAP data so those data like which we have processed for our analytical purpose um, example like over the period of how the company revenues has changed or else like how the customers are evolved so those details like we um, based upon the data which we have loaded to the data warehousing applications so they like business team uh, analysts or it, it could be like reporting layer team whoever it may be they do uh, they did some analysis and they draw some picture on the data and they are uh, um, uh, i can like they can what, what they can do like they can um, judge some uh, feature requirements of an organization so here in the as part of the etl process we dealt with mainly the transactional data so it data warehousing applications we did right so they're like we have different applications uh, informatica data stays and those things so here in master data management we do deal with data only but here the data is not the transactional data here we deal the data of customers metadata customer or product uh, here the metadata is nothing but we have customers or products like suppose consider an organization has some customers customers nothing but like if you consider the insurance or banking firm so they have customers means who are holding the insurance product who are holding the savings or current account or so could be loan accounts anything it may be so they are the customers here the metadata is means like what is the customer name and uh, his details like address contact everything like whatever it may be okay. like which deals the noun of any customer okay so here the metadata mainly we deals we process the metadata and what is the reason of processing the metadata uh, uh, I'll explain. So, in the pre present days, like the information flows into the organization through different channels. Uh, suppose, like you are there, like you are holding some products, or you are a customer to have any uh, any organization. It could be like suppose if if you consider Amazon. Okay? Uh, in Amazon, you have Prime account, you have Amazon account. Okay. okay and then uh, and then so um, uh, you you like you have the shipping shipping address information order id information and everything like your details are present in the amazon database okay so and moreover uh, sometimes you may face some issue and you have provided your details to the customer service support okay they took your details and so here the information of a mahesh is flowing into the amazon through different channels okay but how how can an organization knows that like the information which is coming from the application of a customer different applications of a same customer 
is it is like a same data or like exactly the same data or same customer it could be like my have like uh, with the name of mahesh there may be different customers are there and uh, the information flows into the uh, organization with different channels it could be mahesh or uh, with uh, nicknames or it could be a, with any different uh, names or addresses but how can the organization knows that uh, the data which we are getting from different channels belongs to the same customer or not okay organization does not know so then what is the purpose of uh, getting to know that whether the customer is um, single customer or multiple customers of a same name or similar name so what is the reason of analyzing the like um, drawing that information is to uh, provide the better customer service right so you have made some like you have some grievances and you lodge a complaint so how could an organization will contact you so with your contact number okay in future like if they want to avoid some um uh, what what could be like issues like uh, to provide better customer services how can they contact like uh, you have like different contact numbers different email ids and different address information but you are a single customer they don't know right so here they are investing some additional amount of time and additional amount of uh, resources to contact you or to provide better services to you so and a single customer they are uh, providing uh, they are providing the services multiple times but having no purpose you are the only one customer but they are uh, con uh, contacting multiple times and so on. okay this is one uh, one level and if they want to uh, judge the customer trends and how they are behaving means like what products they are preferring and those things so if they if they have the trusted version of customer data then it could be easy for them to draw a conclusion or to draw a, uh, a picture of about a customer and how they are behaving means what uh, what is their customer trends within their organization so so it will be helpful for them to provide or to bring the new products as per the customer's wish or else like they provide the better customer service uh, like um whenever we contact like immediately uh, they will provide some suggestions or they pro they will provide some alternate approach to satisfy you something like to resolve your uh, grievances and those things so these are the main um, uh, pain points and if we come to the product domain so amazon pro like sells different n number of products okay and even amazon don't know like uh, there there could be similar products okay and the same product will be um sell by different vendors okay whenever we buy some product like in the amazon application it shows like this product uh sell by this vendor like of this this much cost like so amazon don't know like uh, same product we, uh, how many vendors are uh, providing they don't know right so in order to provide the better visibility and picture of any product they should need some trusted uh information so who could provide the trusted information uh amazon sells millions of product products right so it could not be that easy for an uh, human being to draw the conclusion that these products are same products okay? we buy only few products but there are millions of products are available if you consider the mouse mouse uh, electronic goods like mouse like mouse has different products within that product mouse we have different versions wireless wide and that in that like uh, the fast xing and uh, the version numbers are different there are so many are there like so if they have the trusted uh, information of any product then it could be easy for them to display in their uh, application and even they they will get to know that this product will be is being uh, selling by different vendors so that they they can get the uh, full information trusted information and they can um, judge that like they are getting profit from these products they are not getting product from these products so those type of um, um, i can say like 
information they can draw if they have the trusted information of any product or a customer this is retail domain if 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 we come to the banking domain banking or any insurance or healthcare uh, um sector so how how can they get to know that like suppose a something happened to a customer means like he may died or like is no longer is available a customer is holding different products in that banking in that bank uh, he is holding the savings accounts he is holding the current account he is holding the mutual funds he is holding some uh, loans 